Hello, YouTube. Well, as we saw from the primary election in New Hampshire last night, there is now a very distinct possibility that a full-on Democrat socialist, Democratic socialist like Bernie Sanders, could possibly be the nominee. And think about that, where you have a chance for the first time in this country's history that a, this country could very well go socialist. Isn't that a lovely thought? But if you go back on a lot of my videos I've done over the years, if you follow some of these or watch some of these, you'll notice that I've been kind of saying where this country's been going. And sadly, a lot of it, I've been right. I don't want to be, but you know, having studied history as long as I have, it's pretty easy to follow what's going on with this country. Now, take my state here, for instance, New York. Since January 1st, we've had the new uh, bail reform laws that went into place. And what that did was basically empty the jails of criminals. And, of course, they're, they're, the Democrats, oh, no, no, don't worry, nothing bad's going to happen. And crime has increased now. The percentage rates are, are going up. And the latest thing is that Governor Cuomo has said that he is looking at shutting down the county jails in favor of centralized jails all across the state. What that would do is it would, hundreds of corrections officers would be out of a job. But there's more to these. These laws are designed to do exactly what they're doing. They're going to increase crime. Because at the same time, the Democrats are in the state of New York are looking to pass more gun laws. So you have, on the one hand, emboldening criminals. Let the, the crime rate all over the state is going up, and you're seeing, even where I am, they just had one where uh, a guy, assault, guy assaulted his girlfriend, beat the holy hell out of her, and they let him, and you know, let it go. Because the even felony assault, it wasn't assault first or assault second. Because it wasn't, it doesn't fall under the violent crime. Order protection, doesn't matter. They already had one recently up here, and they've had them all over the state where they let them go, they go out, they reoffend, they get arrested, they let them go, they reoffend, do it all over again. And I purposely think there is a design to this. I think that the design for these is to create chaos. I think somewhere deep down in the mind of a few of these people that are in charge, the mindset is create chaos, crime goes up, the people in the cities who vote for Democrats anyways, gee, help us, help us, help us, help us. You need to have more guns. Oh, look at the crime. We need more guns off the street, more gun laws. Meanwhile, the police, and the, one of the things that really surprised me, and I don't blame the police at all in this, and NYPD, the, how the police union have described themselves as they are now at war with the city elected officials. That's a very uh, tense term. Now, I'll keep my, this is the winter time. Here it is. It's only mid-February. Usually, statistically, your crime does not go up at this time of year because of the colder weathers, colder temperatures, people aren't out as much. They are dreading the summer here, especially in the cities, because they know crime is going to skyrocket. I'll go one further. I personally will tell you right now, I think if they do not change the bail laws before the summertime gets here, I think you're going to see a possibility of crime very much like the 1862 New York City draft riots. I think there's a very good possibility because the more times they go after the police, you just had two officers nearly assassinated in the last week. Uh, city of Albany, a guy just yesterday uh, urinated on the city bus. They couldn't get him off the bus, so they called the Albany police. Albany police showed up. The guy attacked the Albany police officer, smashed his head into the, basically almost tried to kill the cop. Guys walked out of jail because of the new bail reform laws. Um, you're seeing, there was one recently where a guy shot a woman in the face with a pellet gun. 
walked out the door. These laws are designed to uh, create crime. Now, why this is important, Bernie Sanders had said he has said he wants to adopt the New York State no bail reform law, the, the cash no bail no cash bail reform laws. Bernie wants to take the state law we have here and make it nationwide. Keep that thought in mind. And I'm going to ask some of the, and part of the problem of why we are here, and I'm going to call out some of these gun owners, because I went off on a gun owner the other day in, in the gun shop, because I was talking to the owner of the gun shop about some of the new laws that New York wants to pass. And the guy literally stood there next to me and said, they'll never get that through. And I turned around and looked at him and I said, well, all due respect, I said, this is why we have the laws we have and why the Democrats are in charge. I said, because too many people have the mentality that this is, and I, and I told the guy, I said, that's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. I said, Democrats have complete control. Who's going to stop them? Well, they can't pass. I said, they'll pass it. I said, I've, and I told him, I said, I heard this with a safe act. They won't pass it. They passed it. I heard it in 1994 with the assault weapons ban. They, well, that won't pass. It was passed. In 2013, there was a movement across this state. We're going to repeal the SAFE Act. Not only did the SAFE Act not get repealed, but the Democrats took control of the state Senate. So not only did the SAFE Act not get repealed, we've gone backwards. So the gun owners that stood up and cheered and yay, and I've talked to many of them, they don't vote. Some of them voted for Cuomo when he first ran for office. And I said, how does that work out for you? Why well, didn't think he was going to, why did you think he was going to do otherwise? And that is part of the problem. When you have 45% turnout for an election, you have no one to blame but yourself. I don't care who you vote for. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. But when you sit home on your ass, you have no right to complain anymore. You have no right to sit there and be pissed off when you see laws passed that you sat there and said, oh, that'll never happen. And so you sat home on your ass and didn't vote. You have no right to complain. And that's why we are here where we are. Ask gun owners in Virginia right now when they said Virginia will never turn blue because I watched some of them say it and I talked to some of them online. It'll never happen. How's that working out for you guys? Everyone that tells you, you need to move out of New York, where do you move to? Granted, it's not going to pass, but even in Arizona now, they're introducing these laws. There is state after state after state where even Republicans are, are introducing red flag laws. It's sweeping the country. I have news for you. Within two decades, the Second Amendment will be gone. Mark my words, it will be gone. And for those, that'll never happen. Trust me, it's going to happen. You know why it's going to happen? Because the Democrats have no compromise. They do not fall back. They do not quit. They do not uh, give up. When they want something passed, they are totally united. Gun owners, we can't freaking make up our minds what side we're on. I've heard gun owner after gun owner. The red flag laws don't bother me because I don't plan on, doesn't matter what you plan on doing. It has nothing to do with it. This is why we're going to lose the Second Amendment. We're going to lose it state after state after state. And then when the Democrats finally get back control of the White House, it might not be this election, it might not even be 2024, but eventually they're going to get it back. And those Democrats that are now going to be in charge, Nancy Pelosi will not be in charge then. AOC will be in charge. Those are people who are in districts that are solid blue. Any of you think AOC is going somewhere, trust me, she's not. Her district is solid Democrat, and they will not run another Democrat against her. 
Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar, they're not going anywhere. In fact, they're finding more candidates just like them. They're picking up more and more and more of these younger, radical, 30-something Democrats. You want to know why they want them? Because they're not going anywhere. They're going to run them in these districts, these very ultra-liberal districts. They're not going to be voted out of office ever. Plan on seeing those people for about another 30 years because they're not going anywhere. The problem is, is while we sit here and debate on our side, the left is going to be totally unified. You think right now, you're starting to see the violence pick up before the election. You're already seeing a guy took a van, ran it into a Trump uh, campaign tent in Florida. There's another one of a, a guy who was wearing a red baseball cap. Didn't even, wasn't even a MAGA hat. It just looked like one. Guy got punched square in the face because the guy, the woman thought he was a Trump supporter. This is going to get worse. Tack this on with the laws you're seeing, the, basically the total surrender to criminals in all of these states. Now in Manhattan, the DA said, we're not going to prosecute some crimes anymore. We don't have the manpower. And the new evidence discovery laws don't let us. How would you like that part of, the, of the, the new cash bail law here in New York? Which is what Bernie wants to model on the country. He want, the, the evidence laws basically state if the defendant, not if the defendant, when the defendant gets the information from the prosecutor because he's now allowed to see it. That includes your name and your home address. They just had a witness in a case killed. And they said it was that part of the law that gave, it was an MS-13 case. The guy was killed, what they figure, by MS-13. They, they sent someone to his house and they killed him. That's part of these new laws. Keep that in mind when you're sitting home debating. Yo, know, that'll never happen. It's going to happen. This country is coming apart. It's a matter of time. And the biggest problem people seem to worry about right now, I was really impressed watching people at the NFL and the Super Bowl. How many conservatives that I knew suddenly, oh, I'm watching NFL again. Why? What did you think of that halftime show with uh, J-Lo and the kids in cages? You thought they weren't going to slip something in just to say, here's where we still stand? You know, Beyonce and her dirtbag husband, not standing up for the national anthem. You didn't think, you think these people have changed their opinions? Of course they haven't. They just told all of the people involved, you know, the players, don't screw up anymore and act like assholes because you're costing us money. They haven't changed their opinions. They haven't changed their positions. They're still the same people. It hasn't changed one bit. But so many of these so-called conservatives that two years ago were burning their jerseys. I'm not watching football again anymore. Hey, who's watching the Super Bowl? There you go. How easily you forget your convictions. How quickly we just let it all go. The left doesn't do that. They don't. These people are angry and they're motivated. And if you underestimate them, we're going to be in real trouble in a shorter time than you think. So what I advise everyone to do right now is I advise you to make damn sure you're registered to vote. And then come the primaries, come November, you need to get off your ass and vote. You need to actually tell your elected officials, here's what you're going to do, or I'm not voting for you, or I will vote for someone else. You need to figure out where they stand. Make them tell you. Some of these politicians that I've actually talked to over the years, I talked to a couple, I actually physically met one of the people running for governor in the last elections. And I, after I met him, what was he like? I said, he's going to lose. Because he didn't believe what he was saying. You could tell he didn't believe it. He was not honest about it. But And you knew that. It didn't take much. And if they run with someone like that here in New York again, Cuomo will win all over again. I don't, and it, I don't care what anybody says. Cuomo can be beaten. His father was. 
That's how Mario lost his job. Because he finally pissed enough people off. I had thought after the last election that was going to happen. Until the Republican Party in New York basically ran a Cuomo-like candidate who really did not support conservatives, wasn't a conservative. He really, and he, you look at him today, he's still not a conservative. And they're thinking about running the dumb bastard again. Way to go. This is why we're going to lose. This is why this country is headed downhill in rapid fashion. It's a matter of time. Look at us here in New York and California. In 10, 20 years, the rest of the country is going to be just like us. I can't say what this state's going to look like, but I can tell you the rest of the country is going to be just like us. It's a matter of time, folks. I hate to say it, and I hope to God I'm wrong, but I'm not. Because the apathy on the right versus the fundamental diehard belief system on the left of the environment comes first, screw you, screw your kids, screw the Constitution, we're going to make changes, we want free stuff, that has totally taken over the education system, the college system, and anyone for the most part from age 30 on down. That whole movement is in, right now is in the, now it's in the high schools. You're seeing school systems like New York City and other places letting kids protest. One day a week, you can go out and protest. You're going to see more of it. And there's nothing you can do about it. You can pull your kids out of school. Doesn't matter. You think they care? You're going to find another kid just like yours that's going to be on the tax dollars. They got more of them just like yours. They got the people on Social Security and all these other benefit plans. They got seven, eight kids and they're popping up more like Pez dispensers. They don't care about you and they never will. Because we've let this go on for too long. What's the solution? I don't know. I think, that I personally, I don't think there is a solution. I think you're going to have to tear it down and start over. And I think it's going to tear itself apart first. So with that rant, YouTube, uh, I want everybody to have a good day. And I want people to start thinking really hard about what's going on in this country.